Hey, it's Justine Marjan, and this is In The Know Hair School. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to diffuse curly hair. So the supplies that you'll need today are a wide tooth comb, a Denman brush, a blow dryer, this is from GHD, and the diffuser attachment for your blow dryer. You'll also want to use suctioning clips and your favorite curl hydrating products. Based on her hair type, I'm gonna go in with the Tresemme Curl Hydrate Cream, and then we'll break up the curls afterwards with the Flawless Curls Hydrating Oil. If I want to see a little less frizz as I dry, I might use a little bit of the Tresemme Extra Hold Gel. So we have just washed and conditioned her hair. Now I'm just working in a little bit of the Tresemme Curl Hydrate Cream. This just helps to restore moisture levels in the hair before I go in and detangle. So now that I've applied the Tresemme Curl Hydrate Cream, I'm just going to go in in sections and use the wide tooth comb to detangle gently. So when you are detangling curly hair, I always wait until the hair is wet and then work through the ends and slowly work the comb upwards. This will just ensure that I'm not causing damage to the curls. So now that I have detangled her hair with the wide tooth comb, I'm just going to apply a little bit more of the Curl Hydrate Cream just to make sure her hair is really moisturized. Just applying about a dime size amount and then I'll work that through my palms and just distribute through her hair. So this next step is to really separate the curls and see her natural curl pattern come out. So I'll start at the back on about one inch sections. I'll clip the rest of the hair out of the way. And then I'll use a Denman brush to brush through with tension so that you see the curls bounce up. This is the preferred brush because it has a rounded base that helps to spiral the curl pattern. So where I see her hair naturally separating is where I'll pick up those curls and then just brush it through with the brush. And then I just kind of reinforce the shape with my hands. So then I'll just continue working up the length of her hair in one inch sections. So now that I have separated her curls with the Denman brush, I'm gonna go in with the diffuser and start blow drying. So most blow dryers will come with a diffuser attachment or you can buy one separately. I love this one from GHD because the prongs really help to separate the curls and enhance her natural curl pattern. I'm also using the GHD Helios dryer, which works amazing to dry the hair quickly and prevent frizz. So once I turn on the blow dryer, I like to let gravity help to enhance her curls. So I'll start in the back and just have her tilt her head back. And then I'll gently place the curls in the diffuser and place it against her scalp. When you're diffusing, avoid touching the hair too much with your hands as that can also cause frizz. You want curly hair to feel 100% dry when you're diffusing because if there's any moisture left in the hair, the second she steps outside and there's any humidity, it'll cause frizz. So once I feel that her hair feels 100% dry, I'll just go ahead and apply a little bit of this Tresemme Flawless Curls Hydrating Oil to my palms. And then I'll go in and where I can see the curls kind of clumping together, I can just kind of separate them with my fingers. So where you see the curls kind of clumping together, like this would be an example, I'll make sure my hands are coated in the oil, and then I can just start at the mid lengths or the roots and just gently pull that curl apart to separate it. And then I'll just reinforce the curl pattern at the ends with my fingers and a little bit of the oil on my hands. So there you have it. That's how to diffuse curly hair. It's Justine Marjan. Thanks for watching In The Know Hair School. See you next time.